Dioses always bum me. You guys are gonna hate me for this song. Cool or whatever. Uh, Hey guys, it's a Beckalicious in the house. Woo, woo, and we are back today with another video. And guess what? It's a QA video. It has come to my attention. How can I be doing videos and not have my fans? Be aware of who I am. Let us just get into this video. So I had to use my computer. So if I look this way, it's because I'm reading the questions. Well, the first question is, what's my name? So my name is Rebecca Mary Jane Gonzalez. I do not really like my first name, but I was given that name. So guess what? I got to deal with that name and I plan to change it. But I haven't came up with a name that I actually like and I want to keep that is better than Rebecca. So if you have any comments as to what I should change my name to, please comment down below. And I will, with pleasure, take it into consideration. The second question is, when is your birthday and how old are you? So I am 18. Woohoo! Finally legal, I guess. And my birthday is October 13th. Pause this video. Go into your calendar app and put it in every year october 13 rebecca's a b day which is number three what school do you go to i am in college so the college i go to is elac the reason for that and this really gets me mad because a lot of people talk down on community colleges which i don't find the reason why because you get the same education in community college as you will and you see cal state like like they act like community college is so bad okay so question number four what would be your perfect job how you i have always said this sleeping if i can create a job i would create sleeping because who doesn't love to sleep i know i do i could sleep all day if it was for me like more realistically i think the perfect job would be honestly like just something i'm passionate about doing i'd want to work um somewhere like that i enjoy working and i like who i work with and that would be like my perfect job i guess question number five and it is which famous person would you like to meet that is like the easiest question ever hold up this is who I've always wanted to meet, and if you guys know me, you guys know I love him so much. Like, I die for him, I rap for him, everything. This is who I want to meet. Shout out to my brother for giving me the shirt. So, yeah, so the person I'd like to meet, a famous person, is Post Malone. I've been looking for someone to put up with my bullshit. I can't even leave my bedroom so I keep it pouring. <laughs> Can y'all see how in love I am? Question number six. Oh, it's after breakup, would you rather be alone or be surrounded by friends? Oh, for me, when I had my first breakup. Damn. So, okay, um, for me, I think it's like I like to be surrounded by my friends because like although i only have like five friends but it's because they uplift me so i feel like being surrounded by them they make me like forget about like whatever i'm going through like my breakup <laughs> and it just makes me feel better because i have people that i'm surrounded by people that actually care for me and that like really love me question number seven is do you prefer titanic or the notebook look guys i have nothing against titanic but titanic is so long like so long and overall i love the notebook like it just hits home you know it feels like home go ahead and comment down below whether you prefer the titanic or you guys prefer the notebook question number eight is do you have a best friend if so who so yes i do have a best friend i had to sit there and think should i say who she is because she's so mean to me I love my girl. She knows I love her. I always got her back. So my best friend is Catherine. So a little backstory. I met her in elementary and 
mom when I met her in elementary we just became really best friends and ever since we've yeah we've had our ups and downs but i mean like what relationship doesn't have their ups and downs so we were really like this in middle and middle school and elementary and then in middle school we were like this like peace and then coming back into high school that's where we reunited i ended up um meeting her i think in our orientation and then we just reunited and then ever since we were like we got close again and then and then yeah so she's been there always and I love my best friend, so even though she is a hard-headed person. Okay, it's question number nine. Are you always nice to people? Um, yes, I am nice to people. If you get to know me, um, I am a very nice person. I love being nice and I love helping people out. Question number 10. If you could give your younger self any advice, what would it be? I would just tell myself that uh, not to trust many people and not to believe everybody. I guess it's not that I would trust the wrong person, the wrong people, but I give the trust to people and the relationship just doesn't end up well, I guess, or it just dies. I don't know. Be wise about who you choose to be your friends and who you choose to trust and who you choose to love because once you trust somebody, once you love somebody and they do you dirty, like it hurts like hell. I think a lot of people need to know and a lot of people deserve to know because some people go into the world thinking that like everybody is like, I guess nobody will ever do them dirty or not. Question number 11. Does love equal sex? I believe no it doesn't um I remember like back then I don't know if it really happens now more but back then it used to be like if you love me then you know you have you'll have sex with me but honestly I don't believe love is sex there are people that just have sex just to have sex like they don't love their intimate partner um they just do it for the pleasure you know I think love is more based on like emotional like are you there for me when I need you like do you care for me do you honestly like do you honestly care about me or is it just like you just want somebody there like when you're in need of pleasure like being pleasured or whatever like I believe love is more than just sex like yes sex has to do with love but it's not love like question number 12 is what is something you've always wanted to try but have been scared to something i've always wanted to try and i think i said this on my previous video is skydiving i've always wanted to go skydiving but your girl is really scared of heights like i'm not even kidding like you cannot take me like you could take me to six flags and theme parks but i will like complain and i would try to like back myself out of going on any roller coaster because i am paranoid of heights question number 13 do you have a stalker how did you know why why how did you know like yes i have a stalker and my stalker is my shadow ah. <laughs> that's me trying to be funny ha huh? did you laugh no okay me neither no i honestly i don't think i have a stalker um i don't think i've ever had a stalker i think if i ever had a stalker or if i yeah, I think I'd report them and I'd get like a restraining order or I'd move out the country because stalkers are crazy. Like, you never know what they're going to do to you, you know? Question number 14 is, is money, do I think money is happiness? No. Um, I've actually had a really big discussion on this with one of my friends. He says that money is happiness. I believe money can help you be happy, but it won't make you happy. Like in my own opinion and what I've been like with my values and beliefs or whatnot, like I feel like money is money doesn't make you happy. Like money helps you make you happy, but it doesn't like full on make you happy. There's other there's other factors towards being happy. So yeah, quote me on that. Video. Let me tell you guys, I did have a video for you guys for Monday, but it didn't upload because of the footage wasn't even recording. Like, I never pressed the record button. <laughs> Why do I sound like somebody that's taking a dump? I want you guys to comment down below what type of nicknames you guys would like for you guys. I came up with one. Let me tell you what it is you guys are called my babes so i spiced it up let me tell you how it rolls it's a b a a a b three z babes and that is 
what it's gonna be hey guys so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys did not get bored because if you guys did well you already saw the video <laughs> if you haven't already hit that little bell so you guys can get notified every time i post a video and so don't forget to subscribe like comment you know the deal mm -mm -mm so i hope you guys really enjoyed this video and i will leave you guys with this quote by charles r swindoll and he says life is 10 percent what happens to you and 90 percent how you react to it so just remember that things do happen in life but it's how you react to it that counts not much about what happens it's um how you take it in and how you deal with it or how you react to it so just keep that in mind and with that being said and a is out